Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel, your number one resource to help you grow in faith. If you're new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to leave them behind. Okay, leave them behind. And we're in a season where you're entering into a deeper into your promised land into another part of the promised land and there are people that were connected to you that didn't have good intentions that were just trying to suck your energy dry and god is saying leave them behind and continue on to the mission okay and so do not look back He's saying he's removing the real from the fake. Some people are getting left behind in this season. They were people who were always trying to take the shortcut, the easy way out, instead of going through the process. So they tried to attach on to your anointing and like reap the fruit and the benefits of the things that you've been sowing, okay? Because you were allowing yourself to go through the process and so they were trying to skip the process they didn't have any patience you know they were trying to live a worldly life and do what they want to do and still reap the fruits of your obedience and god said no 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 they cannot enter into the promised land with you they have to be left behind okay god said you can't skip the process so he gave me this scripture Romans 13, 1 through 4, and it reads, Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment upon themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong... Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid for it. rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, it is necessary, necessary to submit to authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscious okay so god is saying that this is their judgment that this is their wrath for not submitting to authorities for rejecting what god was doing for rejecting and just going on and doing their own way and thinking they don't have to listen to anyone or anybody but at the end of the day you have to answer to god and there are consequences for your disobedience and so these people are getting left behind and Part of the consequence is not able to go into the promised land, okay, um, and reap the fruits of your labor, okay? He also gave me Romans 13, 11 through 14, and it reads, And do this, understanding the present time, the hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put, put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness. Okay, so not carousing and drunk, drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and duprocracy, not in dissension and jealousy. Rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of your flesh. Okay, so these people that are being left behind, they did not put aside the deeds of darkness and they did not put on the armor of light, okay? So they were still carousing in drunkenness, sexual immorality, things that God has already delivered you from. And so they still just were trying to live a worldly life. And God's saying, no, 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 you are on the path of righteousness. So they are being left behind. And God is saying, continue on with the mission, okay? So if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching or additional resources as you're going into your promised land to help grow your faith, make sure you check the description box below. That's all I have for now. God loves you so much, and so do I. Bye.